Hey, this is Mary with Mary's Chit Chat, and I am in tonight to do another requested video. And this is for Bath & Body Works Glazed Cinnamon Bun Candle. So this is their three-wick 14.5 ounce candle, and I just lit it maybe five minutes ago, and there is the little wax pull it's starting to form. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let this burn for a little while and then I'll come back with my thoughts, okay? Um, my first initial thoughts on it cold, <coughs> excuse me, it smelled just like Cinnabon. If you have a Cinnabon at your mall or a standalone brick and mortar Cinnabon, it literally smells like the inside ooey gooey part of the Cinnabon. Um, like a cinnamon roll, you know, not so much the Pillsbury one that you get at like Walmart or Target or, you know, your regular grocery store, but Cinnabon. Um, on cold, I enjoyed it. I like it. Um, it's not as strong as I expected it to be because of the cinnamon in it. Um, but we'll see how well it does while burning. So give me a few minutes and then I will come back once it has pulled out. Hopefully it is even. I did have to trim the wicks a little bit because they were massive. They were really, really long. Um, and this is where they're at right now. It's kind of mushrooming at the top a little bit, but I'll come back in about 35, 45 minutes and see how well this is doing. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, hey guys, I am back after about an hour and here is the wax pool. Now, I had to help this out a little bit. Let me show you. I had to tin foil it. Um, I also cotton balled it just a little bit because my wicks, the ones that were really, really long, started to drown a little bit. Um, that side still hasn't went down. And like I said, it's been an hour and that wax pool's already pretty deep. It's about a maybe half an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch. Let me not say half an inch. Um, and that side still didn't go down. So the tips of the wick have mushroomed out a little bit. Um, as for the scent, in the notes it says that they're citrus. I don't get any of that. I don't get any citrus note whatsoever. Like I kind of low-key wanted it to smell like uh, the body care snowy citrus something that came out Um during the winter season 2019 it doesn't I mean it says glazed cinnamon bun so of course it's gonna smell like a cinnamon bun I also was hoping that it was gonna smell like the citrus or the iced cinnamon roll cinnamon roll um hand soap that also came out last year and it doesn't smell like that either um it just basically smells like the inside of a cinnabon the the gooey portion of the cinnabon not the outside crust portion um i don't get any like deep bakery note from it it just smells like the cinnamon that's melted on the inside of the actual bun it's still a good scent um i I'm okay with it. I'm not going to run out and buy another one, which I thought I was going to, but I'm not because it's not that good. Um, I mean, it's a good scent if you're trying to cover up something like, you know, funky in your house or whatnot. But other than that, it's not something that I need to run out and be like, yep, I need to get 15 of these just like my frosted sugar cookie or PB&J. Those ones are amazing. Um... The packaging is really cute on this one. It's a wraparound. It's a sticker, but it's a wraparound sticker. It goes all the way. And for decor purposes, I mean, yeah, it's really cute. And all of the candles in this line for the spring 2020, I think, is really, really cute. But I think they kind of missed the mark with this one, you guys. So, Cheyenne, if you're considering buying this one, I say go ahead and try it. I mean, it's okay for what it says. It, it does smell like a cinnamon bun. If that's what you're into, it's great. It doesn't have like an oily bakery donut note or anything. Um, like I said, it doesn't have that crust note. Um, but it's just okay for me. So with that being said, you guys, I still need to probably tinfoil this one a little bit more just so that I can feel comfortable with blowing it out. I hate blowing out candles when... There's not an even wax pool. I feel like it's just going to tunnel my next burn. 
So um, I do suggest probably trimming the wicks a little further down than I did. Or I'm sorry, don't trim the wicks as far down as I did because I feel like maybe it started to... Um, the flame started to get really low because I probably cut the wicks a little bit too short. But like I said in the beginning of this video, they were massive. Like they were pretty, pretty long. They weren't thick or anything. They were thin but very long. Um, they were probably hitting the, the lid every time I closed it. I don't know. But either way, it's an okay candle. Um, I will not be picking up another one. This one I think is a one and done for me and I'm good with it. I'm going to go ahead and try to aid this one along and then I'm going to blow it out and start back in on either the butterscotch toffee or I'm going to go back to frosted sugar cookie for tonight. Um, I was hoping that this was going to be one of my favorites because I was so excited when I got this one, but it is not. Mm. All right, you guys, hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully you guys like my review. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at cozy lights underscore cold nights. Also, if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And to all of my new subbies, welcome to my channel and to my OG chit chatters. You guys know I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Um, also, if there's anything else that you guys need me to review or would like to see from me, go ahead and let me know. I'm going to be doing a sponsored video soon. Um, probably in the next couple of videos, I'm going to be bringing one out um, and a review on top of that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Bye.